What's good, Who That Nation? This is your boy with St. Michael coming back at y'all with another video. And today I want to talk about the preview of the game this Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons, our arch rival. Um, first things first, I want to talk about the playoff scenario before I get into the game. So I believe we have to beat Atlanta and Carolina will have to beat the um, Buccaneers in order for us to make the playoffs and for us to win the NFC South. Or if Atlanta win and Tampa Bay lose, they win the NFC South. Now, with that being said, do I think either of those things, either of those things are going to happen? No, I do not. Um, I just don't see Tampa Bay losing to no damn Carolina Panthers. So, um, we get. I know, and and before y'all, I know there's another way. I I believe the Seahawks and the Packers will have to lose this Sunday as well. The Seahawks aren't going to lose to the Cardinals. Yeah, I know the Cardinals got a big upset last week against the Eagles in Philadelphia, but I still don't think they're going to be Seattle because Seattle has too much to lose, and I don't see the Bears beating the Packers. They never do. The Packers just own them, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I just don't see us making the playoffs. Now, do I want us to make the playoffs? Yes. I mean, why not? You know what I mean? It might be another five years until we make the playoffs. Who knows? But um, with that being said, do I think we're going to beat the Atlanta Falcons this Sunday? Yeah, actually, I do believe that we're going to beat the Atlanta Falcons Sunday. It's one of those feelings that I have that I feel like Derek Carr, surprised, like, I know, but hear me out. I just feel like Derek Carr finna light it up on Sunday. Yeah, he played terrible. Him and the whole offense played terrible. The only one who played good on Sunday against the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta was um Chris Olave before he got hurt because Derek ball Derek Carr threw a um hospital ball to him, which led him to get a concussion and was out for the remainder of the game. But um I feel like Derek Carr gonna light it up this Sunday. Believe I, I know what y'all saying. You you think Derek Carr? I know I said he still his ass, but he got some of his like look look at Tampa. Look at the game last Sunday. Look what he did against Tampa Bay. I think he gonna do it against Atlanta. I know Atlanta got a good defense, but Atlanta just got exposed. They just got blown out by the Chicago Bears, 37 to 17. In Chicago, yeah, I know it was snowing, it was slippery. You know what I'm saying? And Atlanta not used to that weather environment. So that's a majority like like that's one of the main reasons why I know they lost. Now, I heard word on the street is Tyler Haneke is hurt, but he's most likely going to be available for Sunday's game. Now, if I had to pick between Taylor Heineke and Desmond Ritter to play, I think I'm going to pick Desmond Ritter because, <clears throat> believe it or not, they didn't even do shit against us, man. We, we gifted Atlanta that game. We went in the red zone about five, six times that game, and we didn't score not a single touchdown. Like, thinking about it, we really should have beat them, like, at least 35 to what? 23, 26, whatever the score was. You know what I mean? But I feel like this time, you know, defense going to actually show up in the dome. I feel like the fans even going to show up. I know the fans been selling. They, ain't no way I don't see Saints fans selling. I didn't even hear nothing about Saints, Saints fans selling their tickets to Falcons fans. I think the Dome going to be lit this Sunday. I don't think Atlanta stand a chance. Yeah, it might be a defensive game. I'm not saying it's going to be a shootout. But it's going to be a, I think it's going to be a defensive game, a defensive battle. Battle whoever get the ball last, you know, going to win the game. Or whoever have a last good drive of the of 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 the of the game is going to win. But um like I said, I just don't see Atlanta coming in the Dome and beating us. I just don't see that. I just can't see Atlanta sweeping us, and I might be wrong. They might come in and beat us. Who knows which Saints team show up because I know for damn sure, damn well, I didn't think they was going to show up against the Buccaneers. I thought we was going to get blown out. I really thought we was going to get blown out, but the defense showed up, you know, had them in a chokehold for three quarters, and in the last quarter, you know, they started to, you know, wake up, but we still pulled the game out, you know, did what we had to do to um win, and hey. We still got a chance. So, that being said, we're going to see what's going to happen this Sunday. Um, like I said, I hate Atlanta. That's our arch rivals. But um, we'll see. And I want to talk about Atlanta the Falcons on another video. And I know what y'all saying. saying. Like, as a Saints fan, dude, I ain't going to even lie. I'm kind of... Besides Arthur Smith being the head coach, which I hope they don't fire him. Because they find a... 
coach that has decent sense to use his weapons, I'm scared of the Falcons, and I'm jealous of who they got on their damn team. I'm jealous. They young and we old. They finna take over the division, whether people want to hear it or not. You know, they got B. John Robinson, a generational running back. He gonna be one of the best running backs within the next year. You know, they got Drake London. He gonna be a top 10 receiver next year. The only... And then they got Kyle Pitts, another one time in a generational tight end. But they don't use them properly. They just don't use them properly. And Atlanta fans, if y'all watching this, just tell me what y'all think about that, man. I seen the article on ESPN saying that's like the Warriors running the offense through who they had. That center, I forgot his name, Andrew Bogut, I think. And um, Zaza or some shit like that. And not even using Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, you know to shoot threes and do what they did for them to win championships, and even Kevin Durant. And that's true. I don't know what's up with that with Atlanta, you know, but they all young as hell. You know, all they need is a quarterback. All Atlanta need is a franchise quarterback, and I'm praying to God they don't trade down to draft Jaden Daniel because if they do, it's going to be hell to pay. But until then, this is your boy with St. Mike. I'm, I'm checking up on out here. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. I'm out. Peace.